Okay, welcome back. Another video. You guys seem to like the uh, the how to scan for your pre-market gappers. In my other video, I got about 400 views on that and a couple of likes. Some people liked it, I guess. Not everyone. Um, but I did get a comment asking to make a video on my low float scanner, which um, my main scanners here, um, you're going to see on my screen here. Uh, let's expand this. So this is my low float scanner. This is the scanners uh, that you can get for free on TOS. Um, so I'll show you how to how I set up my low float scanner. So you can uh, pretty much get the same thing. Maybe I should save the scan scans query, or I can share the scans query, and uh, I'll put it in the description. Let's. Uh, Tom's low float scanner, low floater, low float scans, scanners. Let's share it. Here's the link. And, uh, shit. I think I just do that again here. Okay, so Tom's low float scanner, share. And we're gonna to link your the thing disappeared. Let me try it again. This is the last time I am I'm trying this. Tom's low float scanner. I'm just gonna put a low float scanner. And then here we're gonna open up the link here. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna copy that. I'll make sure to copy and put this in the description so then you can, uh, so what you'll do is on Thinkorswim, you're going to do a view in Thinkorswim and then you can just save it. Um, so I'll put that in the description for you guys. Uh, this is the low float scanner. Um, so the pre-market, I have a pre-market gapper scanner. This is the one that I use from 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. when the market opens Eastern time. This is the scanner that I use. Um, so pretty much anything, once the volume hits over 100,000 cumulative volume and the price is under $500 and the share, the float, the amount of shares available is um, under 100 million and, uh, and a percentage change of at least 10%. So any stock that has over 100,000 uh, in volume under five hundred dollars and a sh and a share float between um, zero and a hundred million that is gapping over ten percent. That's going to show up in this scan. Uh, anything in be bet between uh, seven a.m. and seven thirty. And so now, once the market opens, what I do is I switch to my. I have a lot of these, but I switch to my low float scanner three, which is my. My, up, my most updated one. And so what changed in this one is I took off the after hours percent change and I just kept the volume. So I want a stock now with the volume at least over a million shares in volume. I In a cumulative, um, I don't want to be trading anything under a million shares in volume or else um, the move yet isn't authentic. It still could be a fake out. You get a lot of these stocks um, that'll just go straight up and straight down. Um, uh, like Derm today, see this, I'm gonna bring this over here. This is an example of a stock that has too low of, um, of, too low of volume that you know, if I didn't have that at minimum 1 million shares of volume, this would have came up on my scanner because hey, look, it's gapping up 40%. Yeah, it's, it looks like an amazing gapper. Holy shit, something's up 40%. But you look at the volume here and uh, let's see if I can find the volume. See the volume, 18,000, 13, 44,000, 64,000. So maybe 150, 200,000 shares in volume um, by this point in time. So... Right now, that wouldn't show up on my scanner because I'm purposely screening those out so I don't, you know, fall into any of these traps 
um, on low on, on a low volume stock because this um, if it's such low volume could be just a fake out move or just a, a quick pump and dump uh, which happened here so this is 150,000 to 200,000 um, shares in volume and look it immediately popped up and it sold off below the low of yesterday so good thing that's why I have uh, my minimum shares of volume over 1 million shares and then so second then after that criteria I want a stock flow under 150 million um, preferably under 50 million but in if it's a very slow market or um, there's something moving that has a higher float maybe between 100 and 150 million um, then I would give it a look because there is a chance that a portion or a percentage of the share float is bought up by institutional investors or insiders which will uh, tighten up the float a little bit more and in TOS it won't pick that up and uh, divide that out of the, of the float so it'll show maybe 150 million in shares but when there's 66% there's of the float is bought up by institutional uh, holdings or insiders and so then maybe there's only 33 million shares actually left uh, in the open market and so that's not going to show up uh, on the scan it's just going to say 150 million and when it's really 33 million. And uh, any of these stock floats, I always use um, a different website to confirm. I can use Finviz. Finviz is a good one. Um, you can use uh, Guru Focus. Guru Focus is another good. I'm going to put post links of this in the description as well. These are other free resources that you can use to check the float. See, like here. Um, you just type in the stock, hit the financials, hit up ownership, and you can see you got shares outstanding, and then you can see how much institutional owners and insider ownership owns, and then that leaves you with the float percentage or the amount of shares available in the open market. <coughs> so very good information to know because sometimes TOS isn't entirely accurate. But uh, the scanner works pretty good, so that's why I use the scanner. It's good for beginners. Um, if you want to go <clears throat> take it seriously <clears throat> and you're, you want like the best scanner out there and you're making so much money where it doesn't matter how much you spend, then I would, I would suggest investing in something else. But if you're beginning or you don't looking to spend so much money on a scanner, then Thinkorswim scanner is pretty good. Uh, and then lastly, I want to have a, <clears throat> a stock with the market price of between 50 cents and $500. So I don't want a micro penny stock, but I will still trade penny stocks um, above 50 cents. Uh, anything lower than that, um, it's just harder for me to adjust my share size mentally. Uh, sometimes even if it's a penny stock, it moves. You can, your share, your, uh, amount that you buy so maybe your position size in total may be like a third of what you usually do but because the percentage moves are so high uh, you can't it's hard for you for you to adjust to a different level of risk and it's hard to, to understand the rate of change in comparison to the amount of shares that you're taking out of a penny stock so that's why I like to keep something buy something you know closer to a dollar at minimum I usually don't like to go above twenty dollars statistically um, uh, measuring my statistics I don't do very good over twenty dollars let's I'm gonna show you here so reports this is a great resource to have by the way trade review uh, thirty dollars a month for the silver membership the cheapest membership and you can get unlimited uploads of all your trades you just copy and not copy and paste you just upload your uh, account statements into here and you, and you and then it tracks all of your metrics so I want to look at anything you know you want to measure your statistics because that's also going to help where to gear your um, your scanner so let's say you do only you do really good with 
uh, stocks over $20, you're going to want to find that. You're going to want to find where you're good. So, if, so for me, anything over $20, I'm, I'm losing money. So that's why I don't like to trade anything over $20 uh, unless the setup is really good. And again, I think it has to do with mentally, uh, it's hard for me to adjust to like a different rate of change in share size. Uh, so I'm used to between $2, even under $2. So between a dollar and $20 is my sweet spot. It's where I make most of my money. So by looking at this, um, this is where I want to gear my scanner. So in reality, you know, here I would want to change, keep this at 50 cents, but I want to keep push this down to $20. But for for sakes of you know finding good quality setups, I would I will still consider trading up to fifty dollars. Um, I do want to get better at trading stocks over twenty dollars. And in case there's something you know having a multi day run that's gone from five dollars to fifty dollars, I still want to be able to just you know track it um, beyond the twenty dollar level. So. But statistically, I only do good between a dollar and twenty dollars. But let's say your statistics are opposite. Maybe you do best between twenty dollars and five hundred dollars. Uh, maybe you're better at large caps. So then you're going to want to change your share size, maybe to um, your not your share size, your shares float to scan for stocks over maybe fifty million shares, and then all the way up to um, <coughs> all the way up to maybe. Uh, a billion or 500 million float uh, for your for your share float and that will give you the large caps or mid caps and maybe you want to have your volume to 5 million shares in volume or maybe you want to have your market price minimum $20 and maximum $150 so those are some things to keep in mind when you're making your scanner uh, as far as this, it's so easy. You just do add filter, you hit stock, um, and then you just hit your your whatever you want here. So your volume, volume's down there. So how many shares of volume of the stock do you want to have minimum and maximum? Uh, your percentage change, so that's your percentage gap on the day. Your share, so that's your float. Uh, you can do market cap, you can do your market price, a low price, high price, last price, net change, etc. <coughs> and now I want to get rid of this. How do I get rid of it? Okay, I guess I got rid of it. Oh, you just hit the X here. Super easy. And so that and then so if you want to do fundamentals, so you could change your if you, you like fundamentals, you can do a fundamental. Uh, filter studies are good so if you want unusual volume it's a good one the one for the pre-market you can have pre-market gap uh, it's in one of those you can look look through it and, and uh, customize it well, that's pretty much all I had to say um, if you guys thought this was a value, uh, please hit the thumbs up button and uh, post a comment down below. And I hope this guy, I hope this uh, <coughs> uh, helps you uh, make better trades and f find the, the right stocks and get in before the big move so you can make some nice monies. So see you guys on the next one. Also look out in the description. I'll have all of these uh, links down below. All right. Peace.